What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to another MLB The Show 24 video. In this video, we'll be talking about the best methods to finish Team Affinity. And in this video, we'll be talking about many seasons. Also, what do you guys think of my haircut right here? We've been having a challenge over on our stream. Every 5,000 likes, we have to cut part of our hair off. So this is our progress so far. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And let's go ahead and get right into today's video. All right, so the reason I think that mini seasons is the best method is, is if you go to mini seasons, there's specific missions that I think are best to be done in mini seasons. If you go to Team Affinity, All-Star, Hall of Fame, and Legend under your single player missions, you have to do these missions, get six on base with AL East players. So every division, six on base. 10 extra base hits or 20 RBIs with those players on those difficulties. Now, all-star is all-star or higher. So if you just play legend, you can get all this stuff done on legend difficulty. And if you see the rewards and up in the top right, right above my webcam right there, you will see you get 10,000 for this one, 10,000 for this one, and 12,500 progress for this one. These are not repeatable, but at least I would get them done while doing mini seasons. And the reason I would pick mini seasons is you can get all this stuff done as well. The hits, the home runs, the strikeouts, uh, the total bases with ALEs bosses once you get the bosses. And those are all repeatable. So as you guys can see with home runs, 15,000 XP, it is repeatable. You have to get 20. Hits, 10,000, it is repeatable. Strikeouts, 10,000, it is repeatable. But not only that, now let's go to mini seasons and you guys will see something else that you guys can get through mini seasons at the same time, especially if you're trying to get XP. So let's go take a look at mini seasons and let's just look at team affinity mini seasons real quick right here. So we're going to go ahead and go and play now and we are going to and right here you will notice that for season one, you get vouchers, team affinity vouchers. You also get XP for completing these goals as well. The only downside with this now is the repeatable missions. You do not get XP, so there's no way to grind XP over and over and over again with mini seasons. The only repeatable missions are packs, so you can actually grind packs in mini seasons now. So if you guys want to try to finish live series collections, try to get those silvers, those bronzes out of the way, and just get free packs with that chance of pulling a nice diamond or chase pack. Mini seasons is a good way. 25 innings pitch, win 14 games on any difficulty, and tally 60 total bases will get you some packs or some bundles. So five packs, 10 packs, therefore. But really what you're looking at is a Team Affinity voucher. You're gonna progress in Team Affinity, not only doing mini seasons, but doing missions in mini seasons on All-Star, Hall of Fame, and Legend difficulty. Therefore, you're gonna fly through Team Affinity much faster by doing this. So when you win the championship, you get four vouchers. The semifinals, you get three vouchers. And then every five wins, you are going to get one voucher as well. And that's at the very beginning. Win five mini seasons games to earn one pack containing one voucher. Good for progress in any team of any season one. So that's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to go into mini seasons, complete mini seasons, but at the same time, be sure that you guys are grinding those missions as well. So Team Affinity, make sure you have those players, whatever division that you are trying to grind, make sure that AL East or whatever it may be, make sure those players are in your lineup and you're trying to get the six on bases, 10 extra base hits, and the 20 RBIs. The easy thing about this is it's the same for every single division. I'll even go to another one. Six on base, 10 extra base hits, 20 RBIs. It's the same missions for every division. So it's going to be a lot easier to track that way. If this does help you out in grinding Team Affinity and grinding some mini seasons, getting some XP, getting some free packs, be sure to like the video, subscribe for new, turn those notifications on, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.